Okay guys, the last wheel I was waiting on for that budget swim bait reel shootout came in today. It's another Cancun. Um, right hand. Let's see. It's kind of crazy. It has specs on this side of the box that don't match the specs on this side of the box. Okay. This is a free gifts. It's some different snaps of some kind. Um, anyway. This is not what I thought it was going to be. This is nowhere near what I thought it was going to be. This is like a regular bait cast reel. Um, yeah, they sent me the GS105R. Yeah, they sent me the wrong thing. Um, well, so... Yeah, this is not what I thought it was going to be. This is not the right thing. It looks like they basically completely knocked off an SLX. It looks just like an SLX. Um, thumb bar seems to be pretty solid. Um, here's your, adjust your brakes here. Then it has an open right here. Well, it says open, but damn. Okay, this pops off. It's got six pads in there, but it's got space for an extra one, an extra six. So I guess technically, if you wanted to, you could put 12 brake pads in here, 12 little buttons. Um, but it's, for the price, this is like a $35 reel or less, but this is not the right thing. But it's kind of neat. It's loaded. I mean, it's completely covered in grease. Um, this matte black, this grease just gets all over it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be sending this back, I guess. It's... Somewhat smooth. Free spools atrocious. Ouch. Yes, yeah, not very good. This is so full of grease, it's crazy. To make it almost where you can't see. Okay, so that's 10. So maybe I had it all the way up on all the brakes on. Let's see. That's a little better now. Still ain't that great there. Yeah, this is not what I wanted. Um... I'm not really going to go over this reel because this is not really going to be keeping. And I don't think you guys even should get it. I think they need to stop doing this dumb shit, having a box, having... Yeah, this is this is for this reel here. This right here is supposed to be for the reel that I'm supposed to be getting. It's not. Okay, now let me go over here. I really like this reel when I first got in. This is the um, Sharky 2 Longcast. Um... I was using it with jerk baits, but it started doing some button slips, trying to get to do it. There it goes, right there, see? The spool's not spinning. If you don't engage the reel right, it's not gonna spin, and it's gonna do some crazy crap with your line. If you just give it like a little click, well, I did it that time. 
if you don't fully pop it over like hard, it does this crap. Let me see if you can see it. See how fast the handle spinning, but the spool's barely moving. But your damn line guide's going back and forth like it's supposed to, and this is not moving. So, and right now look at it, it's free spooling, so you can tell it's not fully engaged. And you can't make it engage anymore. You have to push your button up with your finger. Now that real free spool is really good. But I've cleaned all the grease out of this one. And, but, it's kind of crazy. I really like this reel, but, I mean, if you're out there and you can't depend on it, I mean, it's, But as long as you positively engage it, it does pretty good. I mean, you gotta really, you can't be doing, you can't, like you, you take your jerk bag out and you just barely click it over because it's not gonna do it. Like, I've never had a reel do that before. Well, I'll take that back. I've had a reel do that after I beat the shit out of it. I have not beat the shit out of that one. That one has not caught that many fish at all. Like, it shouldn't be. Yeah, your pong gear, prong gear shouldn't. Man, I'm just barely engaging. And as soon as I engage it, it pops all the way up. Yeah, I'm just, but if you do it on this reel, See, if it goes free, and this feels like just spinning freely, and you have to push this back up. It worked that time. It didn't work that time. You can push your button back down. But I found out the hard way. Um... I lost a Vision 110 because of that shit. Um, it all bunched up on the side and then it started going in between the spool and the reel seat and it burned my line. And when I made a cast, cause I wasn't paying attention to it. I mean, I didn't think it was, it just burned my line and snapped my line. Vision 110 went flying out in the trees. Not fun. Not fun at all. So, I like a lot of the other casking reels, but I can't recommend this one. And this one has like a really, really good um, braking system on it. You can kind of see right there, it's, the, it's like a little centrifugal force. Then it's got a magnet in here. This is kind of like a, it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a weird FTB, but not exactly. The way it works um but it has a lot of brakes i mean a lot of brakes but what gets a lot of brakes if the reel is gonna fuck up um yep did it again man i wish i didn't have to like to, I love this reel. This reel is awesome. But, but this was like a Chinese. They didn't release this one here. They do have the new Mega Jaws. I think it's called Mega Jaws Elite. That is like this, but the Mega Jaws Elite now is like a hundred and some dollars, where this one was like sixty. Might be even cheaper than that. I can't remember now off the top of my head, but. If they haven't fixed that, I would stay away from it. Um, and I don't know, I'd have to break it down, but I don't think nothing's broke inside because it doesn't, if you do this, if you make sure you give it that first positive click in, it does fine. But if you're like using this reel for not, for like bottom contact baits and you're letting it go down to the ground, go down to the bottom and you just click your handle over a little bit, you're going to get this shit.
Anyway, guys, I guess that's it for today. I guess, I guess they didn't want this real in my shootout. I guess, I don't know. Um, I guess I didn't tell them I'm doing a shootout, but the other ones are ready to go. They've got 20 pound big game on them. I'm ready to go ahead and put them on. I'm gonna use probably my big Amiga rod and I'm gonna be throwing, um, I think I'm gonna use that new Berkeley coal shad since it's, I've got, well, I could use mag drafts as well, but I think I'm gonna use a Berkeley coal shad uh, just because they're cheaper than a mag draft. And if one of them fucks up and throws it off, <laughs> I'm not losing that much. I think those were like, I got those on sale at Dick's for I think seven or eight dollars after the sale. And then I had a, um, a $40 off a $100 uh, uh, score bonus reward. So I, I got them pretty cheap. Let's put it that way. I got them pretty cheap. Um, I'm always looking for cheap stuff um, or cheaper ways to get stuff. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd go on here and tell you about this. Well, I was going to tell you about that, and I wanted to warn you about this. All right, guys. How you guys doing today? I appreciate everybody watching the video and all the comments. Um, it's really good talking to you guys. It kind of, I guess, a little stir crazy sitting here. I'm waiting. I just gave my dogs their medicine. Then I got to do it again for two of them in two hours. That's the way it is right now. But I love them. So got to do what I got to do. All right, guys. It's been DeMont. Till next time, tight lines. Y'all stay safe.